Hello, Katie. Hi, Nisha. So how are you doing today? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm a little <laughs> silly. You're a little sick? Yeah, I got a cold. Okay. Um, is your voice okay? Your voice yeah, it's mostly my nose. Okay. Sometimes it helps to do yeah. my nasal, so. Um, anything exciting happened over your week? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get back on time. <laughs> um, it's because of my starter. But, um, um, I went to the fair. So that's fair. Cool. Uh, our Loudonville Street Fair. Oh. Um, it's like a, I don't know, it's free to get in. You can just like, walk around and people do 4-H stuff. And then you can see like, people who show animals and people who like, do their crops to show. And like, there's some art stuff oh, going on. Oh, that's really awesome. Where's it at? Uh, my hometown in Loudonville, so. Okay. That's great. Okay, so... Just to start this week, I want you to just review me a little bit. Um, I want you to walk me through posture, good posture for sitting. Okay, so you want to stand with your feet like shoulder width apart, mm -hmm. and you want to stand up pretty straight, and you want to make sure that you're parallel with the floor. Um, you want to feel your arms from your shoulders. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really, is there something else? Because <laughs> I can't remember. Um, just if you were going to stay with your best posture right now. Probably like this. Okay. It doesn't look very bad to you. Do you feel right balanced though? Because I normally have like one foot more in front of the other just for me to feel like steady. But if you feel like steady, then. Yeah, like I normally I normally feel good. Okay. okay. So last week, something I noticed is your your posture throughout our lesson really like hand in a pocket, hand on a hip. <laughs> so. So what I'm going to do is write posture on the board. So that while we do our lesson, it's right there for you just to glance. Just keep remembering. And hopefully remind you to straighten your posture if I can't. Because um, I try to remember and remind you as much as I possibly could. But I was trying to listen for things and other things that I sometimes I didn't catch it. And sometimes that really does affect your singing if you don't have good posture. So, um that's just one reminder. Um, also, I uh, sometimes I may like pause briefly, and it's just me trying to collect my thoughts. I don't think anything bad or anything like that. It's just so that I don't spew and say things that aren't very clear. Um, another thing is the whole drop back thing. I know I wasn't clear about that last week, so I'll make sure to tell you that when we're doing your warm ups and stuff. I may drop out just to see your independence and. Um, if you're well with the notes and just to hear you better without the piano. So oh. just make sure to be always ready and prepared for that. Okay? Great. Okay, so next I would like for you to talk to me a little bit about breath support, what it feels like, what kind of things are engaged, and things like that. Okay, so uh, when you're breathing, you want to breathe like an upward expansion, mm -hmm. not like, and you want to have like normal movement. You don't want to be like uh, when you're breathing. Um, and also, you shouldn't be able to hear me. At least not very much. <laughs> and um, it should feel it should feel good and it should feel open, especially if you're sitting. Like it shouldn't be closed. Right. That's a very important thing that I learned is um, breathe in, hold, and breathe out. So. Not hold, but suspend. Oh, suspend. Yes. yes. You never want to feel like you're holding something because that just causes tension. Okay. Um, something I wanted to correct that I said last week, um, I was kind of unclear with the way I communicated with you. Um, when I was talking to you about breathing, and I was talking about breathing from here and not too much happening here, I said that you don't want any movement here, which is not true because this is where your intercostal muscles are. So they have to move out of the way and allow for all that to expand. And um, so you're going to have movement there. But what I meant was it doesn't need to be so exaggerated. And you know what I mean? So I want you to still be free and not tense, no like negative tension here, but just know that I didn't mean entirely for you not to move here, because I don't want you to be stuck on, like, trying to be tense and not move, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it does actually move in some way. So to start out, just to start out with breathing, since we're talking about breathing, I want us to do the um, inhale, suspend, exhale. And instead of just breathing out, I want you to exhale on a okay? Okay. All right. Ready? I'll stop you right there. 
Um, I want you to focus on more of a just a normal inhale. So just drink in the air. Okay. Just drop your jaw. Let it okay. fall into your body. That does feel better. Yeah. It feels yeah. so much better. It's just natural. We breathe on a day to day. So just inhale like you're just breathing. When you lay down and sleep, you don't. You know, you don't, you don't suck in the air. So just drink in the air. Ready? Let's start again. One, two, three, four, five. Suspend. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I got lost a little bit. I it's okay. Before, it's so. okay. It's okay. Um, you did well, but I want you to show me how relaxed you are. I want you to just drop a relax. I want to see that it naturally just okay. dropped and let the air fall in. So now we're going to go to seven. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Suspend. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and six, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we talked about this a little bit last week with this. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to count because I feel like that will make you start seeing the each individual the individual pitch. I know right now we're not singing a line or anything like that, but it's good to practice that all the time, get it to your muscles. Um, now we're gonna go to ten. Okay. And I want you to um, make the movement with me. So when you inhale, I want you to move your arms out, feel like a fat opera singer, inhale <laughs> in the air. And then when you suspend, I want you to move your arms, just to make sure, keep that air moving. You're not inhaling more air, but you don't want to hold or tense up. So this, and then when you exhale, just move your arms this way. Okay? I just want you to keep moving. Actually, all right, we're going to do it for 10. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Suspend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. I'm so sure that was the right move. It's okay. It's okay. Just okay. keep something, something that yes. does it. Okay. Keep flowing. That was a really good job, Katie. Good job. Okay, now we're going to go to some vocal warm-ups. And um, so last week I talked to you a little bit about resonance. Um, do you know what resonance is or, like, what it feels like or where it's placed? Can you tell me a little bit about it? Um, when I feel like I sing with the most resonance, it's, like, right in here. And I can feel it, like, not, like, vibrating in my head, but I can feel it being there. Mm -hmm. So, like, unless I'm doing, the, like, the lip trills, that's not um, <laughs> I have something to help you with that today. So <laughs> that. Okay. okay, so to feel more resonance, I want you to um, similar to last week, but I want you to sing it on yeah. Can you say yeah for me? Yeah. 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 Now what I don't want you to do is go yeah, 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 okay? Yeah. It's just literally just your tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's going to move a little bit, but none of this needs to be tense. So if you feel the need, just go ahead and push your hands here and just don't allow yourself to have chinch tension. To me, it's like more, um, chest voice is more, uh, like a freestyle type thing. Like you're head speaking. Voice, more of a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like speaking. Yeah, speaking. Voice. yeah. Think about Freaking from singing. Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what about head voice? Head voice is like, uh, I don't know, when you hear an opera singer, like no matter how low they go, it seems like they're always in their head voice. Head voice. So, so what about it sounds? Is it the resonance or the 
Kind of, like, I feel like if you're singing properly with your chest voice, you should still have some resonance, but I guess you, you do. More, you, you do have resonance, resonance still. Uh, for me, I like to think of it, my resonance in my head voice, I feel here, like, I feel, I feel like I'm, if I were to have my hand here, I feel like I'm singing into my hand and my resonance is going into my hand. Whereas my chest voice, I feel like it's coming from, like, here. Not from my chest, like, I don't feel it coming, but the resonance feels like it's, yeah. You know, it's out in it's the room lower, rather yeah. than in my head, if that makes sense yeah. to you. Okay, so what I want you to do is decide, because you as the vocalist, you decide whether you're going to sing in your head voice or your um, chest voice. And I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not telling you one to necessarily do, but um, I just want you to try both of them out. So actually, I am going to tell you what to do real fast. Um, we're going to start off in your head voice, and then when I say switch, I want you to do chest voice. Make sure when you put your chest voice that you stay connected to your air, um, and just make sure that you keep breathing, and do all the same things that you would do in your head voice in terms of checking it. Okay? That's Put your hand like this over your head, over your face, and if your glasses get in the way, just go ahead. <laughs> yes. 
And I want you to literally sink into your hand. I want that resonance to bounce off of your hand. I want you to feel like the train is running, train of resonance is running through your hand, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you're thinking so much about going to sing, singing the next um, 
part that you're not getting enough air. So every time you inhale, I want you to, okay, so. But I don't want to hear it like that, so that would sure. be a bad example. Okay? Okay. physical movements to um, pause, positively influence our roots. Okay? So I don't want you to focus so much on it. But you can focus on it, but you're kind of doing this, and then you're kind of like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> kind of doing the whole, like, emphasizing rather yeah, than... Yeah. So what you can do is... Or you can keep it out and just keep it moving like... Then that kind of doesn't help you for the next. I can give you a minute to drop your hands if that helps you. Uh, or I could like go like this and then this come in while I do that. But that's to inhale. We don't want to think small and we want to think wide. Oh, no, no, no. Like I meant oh, when yeah. I breathe like this and then trill like this. That's like what I originally suggested, but I think that you kind of like um, were stuck here. But um, you can do that, but I just want it to be an even paced movement so that it doesn't like. Okay. And you're like smooth connecting line. motion when you inhale and when you 
or singing, I don't want it to stop at all. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Make sure you're still focusing on engaging those muscles. to 
will focus on moving air all the way through the brace. Okay. So, uh, can you move your arm just in one slow but consistent motion? Sure. Make sure that you plan it, okay? okay. So, um, plan in the most effective place. Don't take a breath in between the words, you know, in the, in the middle of the phrase. So, I think that um, your best bet is to turn then yeah. to a dotted uh, order and then make it One. Sorry. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> Ready? Okay. 
start at 10 song? Sure. Ready? Actually, add the words. Okay. Um, repeat after me. Um, if you want to get on your cell phone to this to record, maybe to turn just so that you know exactly how it's pronounced. Because sometimes listening to recordings, they might like make a mistake or something wrong. Even, so you don't want to pick up on the wrong word. Yeah. Pronunciation of the language. Did you just get this really slow? I'm pretty sure I can find the thing. <laughs> It's okay. I can remember and I can like download like, this. Okay. All right. Caro mio bene. Caro mio shoot to repeat after me. Caro mio bene. Caro mio bene. Caro mio bene. Caro mio bene. Credi mio bene. Credi mio bene. Senza di te. Senza di te. Languish el cor. Languish el cor. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Credi 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 mio ben. Yeah. There, um, these aren't B. Oh, is it like more like a T? Uh, or it's, like softer? Yeah, it's kind of like a Credi, kind of like a okay. H. You kind of like Credi. stop it. It's not explosive. You stop it with your tongue. Okay. Credi miau men. Credi miau men. Credi miau men. Credi miau men. Cre, cre, cre. Cre. The jar, not a cre. Cre, 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 cre. And if you can't do like a flipped R, you can just put a D right after that. That K sound. Cre, cre. That's kind of what it is. Credi miau men. Cre. Sorry. <laughs> Credi miau men. Credi miau men. Senza di te. Senza di te. Di te. Di te. Di te. Di te. Senza di te. Senza di te. Languisce il cor. Languisce il cor. We're just going to continue to go. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is record it on my phone for you because I want you to listen and. Uh, okay. Sure, I'm sorry. Get I'll familiar with the language so that we can quiet. start just in case we want to adding it. Um, and I'll just send it to you. So it happen. Let's start back at the beginning so you have a recording. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Credi miau men. Credi miau men. Senza di te. Senza di te. Langui shale cor. Langui shale cor. Langui shale cor. Langui shale cor. Caro mio ben. Cari mio ben. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Senza di te. Senza di te. Languisce il cor. Languisce il cor. Languisce il cor. Languisce il cor. Il tuo fidel. Il tuo fidel. Sorry. Fedel. Il tuo fedel. Il tuo fedel. Il tuo fedel, il tuo fedel. Sospira un yor, sospira un yor, sospira un yor, sospira un yor, yor, yor. If you can't just put a D in this, yor, yor. So it's her, 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 her. Like I'm really bad when I just spend a second here and there. Il tuo fedel. Il tuo fedel. 
So spear around your. So spear around your. Put a D there if you can. Your. 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 Okay, so I can do like the tap thing, but I can't. It's okay. You don't want to do fully in American order because they never do. <laughs> okay. Chesa crudel. Chesa crudel. Tanto rigor. Tanto rigor. Chesa crudel. Chesa crudel. Tanto rigor. Tanto rigor. Tanto rigor. Tanto rigor. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Credi mio ben. Credi mio ben. Senza di te. Senza di te. Senza di te. Senza di te. Languisce il cor. Languisce il cor. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Caro mio ben. Credi mi al men. Credi mi al men. Senza di te. Senza di te. Languisce il cor. Languisce il cor. Languisce il cor. Languisce il cor. It takes some getting used to, but I can do it. <laughs> I believe me that you can do it. <laughs> okay, so what I want us to do is just um, sing through these first two phrases okay. on B again, just to get that in. Um, then we shall stop. Thank you. 
time is like slowly dwindling. So what I want to do is um, recap, um, assign you your homework, and then we'll come we'll come back at it next week. So as far as today's list lesson, what are the important things that you're going to take away? Um, first of all, this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I felt my air moving and being more energetic better than it had been that last time that we did that. So and what um, do you think? I don't think I was I think I was closing off the hair while I was like trying to like make my hair come up, but it wasn't working because I was closing off. So I think that I need to focus on that and keeping my hair moving from here to here and also not Um also Posture, I think I did a little bit better, but you I did, did catch myself doing this. You did better, you did better because last week your hand was in your pocket, your hand was in your pocket. Very casual. Yeah. Um, what kind of other things did you do? Uh, keeping the line again, I think I got a little bit better at that since last time. Um, what about things that didn't have to be, what about things that were supposed to start? Um, we talked about uh, residents. Right. We talked and like, about different registers of employees. Yeah. How much you get to choose. Yeah. Um, and I think I'll probably be more comfortable even though I need to build up my residence in my head voice. I think I'll be more comfortable in my head voice with this song. Um, and that I need to remember where the residence goes. I think that whenever you lose that, um, if you just place your hands over your face and sing into your hand, sing into the palm of your hand, did that help for you? That seems to yeah, help for you. Did. So if you just think of that, visualize that, practice that in the practice room, get it in the muscle memory. Um, that's the thing. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff when you're practicing. When it's performed, you obviously can't sing. <laughs> But yeah. stuff like that, it helps train your body. It helps get you used to it. Whatever can help, whatever movement. That's why I have you do things like this to connect the line. Um, squatting down on higher notes so that you're not feeling a this, but you're feeling a, you know, like yeah. a deeper. Because higher notes are not high. You never want to think that they're high. Because that's what makes them sound disconnected from the lower notes. So um, what I want you to do for next week is practice. I don't know how much practicing you did this weekend. Um, I didn't really assign you warm-ups and stuff, so if you have like a pen or paper or I could. Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do is the inhale suspend exhale exercise, one, five, seven. I meant five, seven, ten. <laughs> one would be pointless. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I want you to do that. I also want you to do at least 20 of, not those. Okay. Just drinking in the air. Yes, drinking in the air. Focusing purposefully on just dropping your last jaw, letting the air fall in, just standing, exhaling. Relaxing, dropping. I want you to focus on that at least 20 times. Okay? Okay. I also want you to do a couple warm-ups. Are you comfortable with the piano at all? Yeah, I, I can do that. You can? Okay, yeah. so I want you to do the... It's just a little bit of a drum. I want you to also explore more with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finding that resonance. Um, or slowly. Different uh, a variety of exercises like that. Um, and then I also want you to... Uh, Focus on power of the yoga. Sure. Um, and just like try to get through these events. You know, or you yeah, know. I do want you to listen to the recording that I will send to you um, and speak through it. Um, I definitely want you to, are you are you uh, good with like uh, playing music? Uh, I I can play the voice line. I'm not good That's what I mean. Yeah, so, so you like, could yeah, like pluck through your part and yeah. try and Okay, could you like try and pluck through your part and get more comfortable with it um, so that we can work more with it next week so that it's not um, sight reading in here and that we can like focus on like building these different aspects of the piece 
So when you come in next week, as far as Carl, you know, Ben, you don't have to be able to sing our words, but I want you to at least be able to sing. Um, I think you could be able to sing all of it at least while you use the syllable. And then we can work on lines and possibly adding to the text next week. Uh, for now, this might be something, a future assignment. Yeah, I'm going to just save that. Save that assignment for the future. I was going to say to sing on the um, text translation, but I'm going to save that. I feel like that's a little bit too much to do right now since we're just not picking up keys. But that's what I want you to work on until next time. And thank you so much for a good lesson tonight. You're definitely improving. <laughs> And <laughs> I think that great things are going to come out of um, us working together. So have a great night. And I'll see you next week. Thank you, Katie. Sure.